Hi everyone, I am back with Scorpio's reading for this week. Let's see what's the energy for Scorpio. I had to turn off that bright light. It was just like really in my face and it's like, woo. <laughs> Happy Lionsgate Day. It is 8-8, eight, eight, so put out your manifestations. What is it that you want to manifest? New love, more money, fame, fortune. <laughs> what do you want to manifest? Um, happiness. Tranquility. Some of us just want peace, good health. These are important things. Great relationships. Or a better relationship if you're not in one. <laughs> Something great that's going to make you feel passionate, romantic, and happy. Okay, so let's see what's the energy for Scorpio. That's the way I feel about relationships. I'm, I'm trying to bring in a soulmate. Shh, shh, shh. A, A, quiet, quiet. Quiet, my pets. They're just, you know, it's early morning and they want to run out and play and do all kinds of things, which I'm going to open the backyard door soon. Shh. Okay, so let's see what's the energy for Scorpio. Hmm. Interference. Oh, this is great. You need to plug it in, bro. Oh, my God. Is it really yeah. bright? Yeah. But you need to plug it in with the USB. Okay, the great. Thank you. Oh, so I got a small little light here. might work better. And it looks so cute because it got a little holder and everything. I love it. Yeah. Happy 8-8. You see? Manifesting. <laughs> okay, Scorpio. Let's see what's the energy for you this week. That was my son giving me something here for my recordings. Because it's either dark or too light here. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay, Scorpio. Oh, the cards are falling down for Scorpio. I don't know what's going on here, Scorpio. <laughs> there we go. Ooh, got some strong cards here. Okay, let's see. Let's see what's going on. Oh, excuse me. I gotta go down and get them. <laughs> they fell to the ground and they fell face up. So, yeah, they're good cards. We wanna keep these cards, okay? You got a lot of cup cards, Scorpio. But it seems like, um, oh shoot. okay, it seems like there's an offer here, but this person is still not focused on you. You're not sure if you want to grow with them. It almost looks like you're, you're, you're looking for something better or stronger or, mm. okay, so. Okay, let's get a few more cards so I can get a better message here. Okay, it seems like there's someone coming in or someone new. You got an Ace of Cups coming in. But you're still looking or holding on to someone in the past, even though you are you are in the Nine of Cups energy. You're standing on your own. You know, you're trying to really rebuild yourself, but there's still some focus on past energy here, okay? Um, let's see what else we got here. But there is a brand new Ace of Cups coming in for you or someone coming in or something that is going to be brand new. It's not going to be something in your past because I see someone from your past has been in and out or maybe not building the situation as well as you hope them to build or not working on it the way you want it them to, okay? Yeah, you're looking a lot and seeing if this is the right situation for you to decide to go through, okay? Um... Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so here we go. We got your story, um, Scorpio, for this week, okay? The first thing you got is the King of Swords, okay? This is, uh, you could be dealing with someone of the air energy, okay? Um, which is Gen Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, okay? And I feel like this person or the situation has a page of cups here. But this is something that is... This person is not, they're coming in as a page, meaning they're not really sure if they want to offer this love. They're almost like, 
uh, hesitating because they have other things or situations they're focused on, okay? And I think this has to do with a past situation that you've been involved in, okay? And if you have the queen, the king of swords energy, maybe it's telling you to cut out this situation because it's not giving you what you need in a relationship, okay? A lot of the, a lot of the signs got that for this week, okay? I see the seven of um, cups here. So this person that in the past met, might have been dibby dallying in different situations or really not putting you as priority priority okay because sometimes when we're in a relationship we need to make sure that we are putting the work and the effort into the relationship a lot of people think that relationships are just you know to sit around and you know not put anything into it but it's very important that we continue to work on our relationships in order for it to grow it's like a business transaction you got to continue to work on it to make it grow like anything else in life, like your career, like if you want to be, you know, gain fame, a relationship is the same thing. And I feel like you have someone here who is preoccupied with many other things and not completely sure if they want to grow this with you. I mean, they're looking at it, but they're not 100 percent sure you're looking at it and you're thinking, do I want to stay here? You know, I think you feel like it's stagnant. It's not moving. Um, you're using your intuition to guide you, okay? You're being guided by your intuition and you're really thinking things through and letting universe show you what's going on here because the truth always comes out, right? We got the page of pentacles here and this is just you looking at it and deciding, hey, you know what? I want to cut this out of my life, okay? And then we got the page of swords here. So a truth is going to come out, you know, something that you're going to look, see and you're going to be like, okay, it's time to move myself from the situation and focus on something else or focus on something brand new, okay? And when you start focusing on yourself and building yourself up, because the Nine of Cups is knowing that you are, e, you know, you're balancing your own energies. You are emotionally satisfied with your own self. You don't need a second person to give you um, what you're looking, you know, to give you anything because you're satisfied with yourself. You're just waiting for that equal give and take from another person, Right, So you're standing there knowing that you are ready for this brand new beginning, a brand new relationship because there's a lot of cups here. So I think you're ready for a brand new relationship. And yes, sure enough, there is an ace of cups coming in, okay? So there's something brand new coming into your life, which you're going to seem to be moving forward into. But let's see. Let's get the rest of the cards to be sure because sometimes we say we're going to move forward into something. Okay, I picked up a card and I looked at it. <laughs> And it's the Eight of Pentacles, which is the Eight of Scribes, 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 I don't know how you call them, but that is the Eight of Pentacles. So yeah, you're going to be moving into a brand new situation. I didn't even have to shuffle the cards. I looked at it and I was like, okay, all right. So you're going to be building in a new relationship, okay? There is an Ace of Cups and Ace of Cups is brand new. I see you working on something brand new. Or in a brand new situation because the situation you were dealing with is not moving anywhere. And it seems like you've been stuck here wondering if it's ever going to work, but it's not. So you're moving forward in a brand new way with yourself and something new, okay? Or someone new. And you're going to be working on that new relationship, new situationship, new commitment. That's where your focus is going to go now. Let's see what are the messages for you here. From Archangel Michael. What are the messages for Scorpio? Oh, good, great, Scorpio. Moving into a new relationship, a new commitment. Now that you've balanced your own energy, it's about time, you know? It's about time. A lot of times I see Scorpio struggling with past or struggling or trying to control a situation. Now I feel like you're standing firm on in yourself and you're not trying to control anything. I feel like you're really moving into something brand new. Brand new, something that's going to give you the love that you've been hoping for, right? Or give you what you want at least. <laughs> Let's see what is the message from Archangel Michael, please. Hmm, there we go. We got one message. It flips. Flips. It says, admit the truth to yourself and act accordingly. And that's what you're doing. You're admitting to yourself, hey, this situation is not working. Time to move on, okay? And it says here, I appreciate your support in helping me face my feelings with grace and acceptance so that I can be lovingly honest with myself and others. 
Thank you, Archangel Michael, for giving me courage and strength. Yeah, so face this situation. If there is something or someone here that you know that you have tried, you know, you, you've done this over and over and it's not working out, it's not where you want it to be, then it's time to move forward, right? Especially if you've been in, at it at a long time. Because this is just going to affect every other area of your life and it's going to bring things down, okay? So letting go of something to move on with the new. There is an offer here, so there may be someone around you who has feelings for you who feels like they want to bring, who is going to want to begin something with you. And this is a brand new person, okay? And you're going to want to build with this person, okay? So Scorpio, that is your reading for this week. Wonderful reading. Have a wonderful week and happy 8-8 eight, eight Lionsgate Porto manifestations. Um, bring out to the universe what it is that you want and need out of life, okay? And speak to you soon. Bye-bye.